Okay, so we have our melted butter. We are making the cheesecake today, too. Already we are deviating from the recipe. Uh, this is our melted butter. Supposed to be 40 grams. And I added uh, chocolate because, yeah, I wanted the chocolate base. So, as you can see, it's not fully mixed. But anyway, I think it should work. Yep, so that is it for the, you know, base, the melting part of, for the base cookie base so this is it and then we have the um oh we have our once again our coconut you know flavoring essence here which we'll be using yep somewhere along the line this is our digestive that we've managed to you know crash i got this uh what's it called mallet or something well you know tenderizer thing yeah the color was so cute i had to get it so Anyway, sure. we deviated a little from the normal route where they put the digestive in a ziplock bag and then just found it so because I didn't have like a big size ziplock bag so I'm like you know what let's just do it this way it took some time you know patience and all of that but I think we got it the way we wanted it so that's what matters yeah by the way we have our um cream cheese here yeah. I'm just trying to get it to room temperature in a way yeah and then our recipe is there yeah that we are not even following this is our gelatin I was supposed to do two two teaspoons of gelatin and then two tablespoons of cold water I forgot myself I did a uh, two uh, what do you call it two tablespoons of gelatin that's like 10 grams and then two teaspoon two tablespoons of cold water as well so already i messed up the gelatin part i don't know how i'm going to rectify that one so i could just maybe remove a bit of the gelatin from it and i guess in a way that will rectify it i added more extra water though because i was like maybe the water will dilute the whole thing i don't know but yeah it would be make sense to remove a bit of the gelatin then so yeah we just started the cheesecake and you're already messing it up wish me luck <laughs> Okay, so this, we just added the chocolate to the digestive biscuit base. So, we are just, you know, mixing it. Yeah. Mixing it and then we place it in our pan. Yeah. Wish me luck because, gosh, we already started on the wrong foot here. <laughs> or like yesterday where we, well, we almost followed the recipe to the tea. Today, we, we are just deviating all over. That's not cool, you know. Well, this is our new baking pan, by the way. As you can see, it looks real brand new. It is. Uh, so, since we decided, we we, we realized that we seriously going, going into baking, we are like, why not invest to them? So, yeah. I'm using a baking cooking spray. Just so it doesn't, you know, stick. <coughs> So the, the things don't stick in the pan. So this is our chocolate mix. And the base, as you can see, I think I didn't make enough. But we have to make it work. Well, I ate half of the biscuits, so <laughs> anyway, sure. So we are going to use our uh, measuring cup to just press it in here. You get it. So to kind of you know stabilize everything gosh I really really wish this turns out well because I mean once again it's it was it's what 12 30 and done and here we are like we have nothing better to do <laughs> yeah think gosh yep i think some of the biscuit went too far i guess trying to evenly 
a portion it or something like that here. Yeah. Oops, I hope you don't break on me though, because you can use like glass, uh, yeah. I guess a normal glass too. I mean, this is the easiest I came up with, so. And I'll be using it to do some measurements, so I'm, I'm like, why don't we just multi-purpose it then, you know? So that's what we are doing. I think we are done. That's what you say in tree, right? That what it will do is what it has done. <laughs> Really, there is translation like that, but yeah, this is our chocolate base now. We are going to put it in the fridge while we work on the filling. Yeah. Okay, so we have about four tablespoons of sugar here added to the cream cheese, which we left to kind of get a little bit more to room temperature. And then over here we have the coconut um, essence that we added so we are just going to mix it and then we'll continue okay so we are done mixing in the sugar and then the essence yeah this is what we have here yeah so now we are going to add a three and a half tablespoon of yogurt this is the yogurt i got so this is what we are going to use yep Oh, it's sweetened. Gosh, I didn't know. Now, I guess I'll have to remove the sugar. There's some sugar I'll be adding again somewhere along the way, so I'll not add it because I don't want something too sweet. Anyway, so we are going to get a. Uh, uh, do I even mix it first? Gosh, I'm not a yogurt person. Ew. Anyway, so three and a half. One. Three and a half. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so now we are going to mix it together and then we'll continue, right? So, from after mixing this, I'm going to um. Put the gelatin mix. This is the poor condition it's in now. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the microwave for 15 seconds and then I'll add it here. So see you. Yeah. Okay, so this is our uh well, cream cheese base now. Yeah. As you can see, it's very smooth now. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. And then we have our gelatin mix that we just heated in the microwave for about so oh, my I forgot it I made it 20 seconds so here it is so according to the recipe I take one tablespoon of this mixture here yeah like so <laughs> gosh I still can't remember who said like so but yeah then I add it here so and then I mix it really well and then after mixing this particular mixture i'll then add it to the main one here okay so yeah that's what we are just doing now mixing 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 everything together so it's evenly mixed before we add it to the main one i guess it's mixed right i think so yep Yeah, so I think we are done. So now we are going to uh, put this here, mix this here with this one. You get it? Okay, so this is our cream cheese base so far. We are going to work on the heavy cream part now. 
but I like how smooth it looks. You know? Yeah. Let's talk playing around now, right? So for the now the next step is I'm going to um, pour 100 ml of heavy cream and then whisk it to about 60 percent. I'm supposed I can use an electric mixer, but I don't want it splattering all over. I'm not in the mood to be cleaning up all that mess, so I'll just use a hand whisk here. So that's what we are going to do. So see you. Okay, so this is our cream cheese. Hey, hey. No, this is our um. What do you call it? Gosh, heavy cream, 100 ml. We added just a, maybe about a tablespoon of sugar. Like I also add a, a, a tablespoon and a half of, of uh, sugar. I tested the cream cheese mix and I think I don't mind adding one extra tablespoon of sugar. So that's why, you know, I added a tablespoon of sugar that I was supposed to add here to it. So now we are going to whisk it till we are, we are about 60% whipped. <laughs> yep. Wish me luck here. Okay, so this is our uh, heavy cream whisk now. You can see the difference in consistency now. I think, I guess I'm eyeballing, eyeballing, wow, bro. I'm eyeballing this. I guess this is the consistency. This is about 60%, I guess. I'm not a baker here, but yeah. Yep. So this is it. We are going to now add add the um what do you call it the cream cheese to this and then we mix we mix it then we are done so we are just literally going to pour it in here then we mix it together so see you when I'm done right yeah okay so this is our final cream cheese you know make sure everything has been added here so this is it now we are going to get the biscuit base and then just add it then we are done yeah i like how smooth it looks though you know Okay, so this is our, you know, biscuit base. So we are just uh, going to pour the mixture in here and then just spread it around. You get it? So yeah, that's what we are going to do now. Looks like our, you know, baking bowl is too big. So <laughs> it's way too big. So yeah just trying to make spread it all across and make sure at least we get a bit of cheese you know the cream cheese on every bit of the cake so yeah next next time you know you have to you know uh, you know consider the size of your baking items you know especially the pan because if it was going to be this small then I guess I could have made the mini cheesecake then but then that's what have been a lot of work so yeah this is how we are going to end up anyway so yeah that's it okay so this is how we ended up you know the best we could do now so we are just going to cover with cling film and put in the freezer in the fridge to chill for about uh, three hours and then we'll have a look at it keeping my fingers crossed that's for sure This is our cheesecake now, you know, after well, more than eight hours in the fridge. So we are now going to cut it and see. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I just... Yep. Okay. Okay, so this is it. 
yeah the cheesecake is finally here so time for a taste test right yep <laughs> 